Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I've seen them all over the internet, never made one before and I thought I would give it a go. So I'm going to change everything about it except the shape. So the paper is going to be different, the colours are going to be different and so is the design on the front. Just to show you that you don't need the bees. I use the honeybees on this one and on this one I'm going to be using Parisian Beauty and I'm going to be using that stamp, never used that or the postmark or the franken mark and the words the script stamp for this card you'll need a piece of card at 11 and a half by 4 and 1 eighth. I have scored it. I got carried away, but I will score it again for you. You need another piece at 6 and a quarter by 2 and 3 quarters. Yeah, 2 and 3 quarters. I forgot to say, if you're in America and you want to make this card, make this bit here. I'll show you when I score it your card I'm sure I'm sure it's only 11 if you cut yours at 11 and you make this that your normal uh, a6 card is I think it's five and a half you'll still have this tab here to tuck it in so yeah it can be done I've got a piece of white cardstock that will sit on the front here and this measures four and a quarter by two and five eighths. So it's four and a quarter by two and five eighths. I also have some papers. Now this is the foiled papers that were in the um, celebration. Never used it. It's the first time I've used it. What I have done is I've coloured behind the flowers in um, purple posy so that the flowers all stick out and that will go nice on there so I've got one bit of five and five eighths by four inches I have one piece that is one and seven eighths by four inches I have another piece that is one and three eighths by four inches I have another piece that is one and three eighths by two and five eighths this is for the top here I'll sit on there and I have two bits these are going to disguise the bits that tuck in underneath so you don't have plain card showing under there as you can see or can't see I have got no card showing here so I've covered it up so that's that, what that's for right let's get the scoreboard up I'm gonna have to stand up for this Get the school tool. And with it long ways in, we're going to score at five and seven eighths. Now, if you're American, you want to score at five and a half. Then we're going to score at seven and three eighths. So in America, you want to score at seven inches. Right, I'm going to skip the American for now. Let's do the English and then I'll go back and do the American. Right, five and seven eighths, seven and three eighths, nine and three eighths, and ten and seven eighths. That's English. The Americans, five and a half, seven. 
nine, ten and a half. Hope that's clear for you. Now you'll need to make this smaller as well in America. Right, I have scored at four and three eighths and five and one eighth. No, five and seven eighths, sorry. In America, you'll want to score this at three and seven eighths by five and three eighths. Because if you don't take the half an inch off, it'll be too big. So yours will want to be five, your length will want to be five and three quarters. That's all our scoring done. <clears throat> Hope that helps you. Right, fold over and burnish all our score lines. That one's done. Seen these all over Pinterest, never made one before, and I thought looking for something to make. And I thought, oh, I'll do one of them. Right. Now, what we need to do is get our ruler. No. scoreboard I think It'd be easier and what we want to do at three and seven eighths is just put a little notch there turn it over and put a little notch there that's all we want to do last time on that one I am um, on this one I marked it with a pencil and I couldn't rub it out and of course you can see it so I thought this time I will notch it with a with the scoreboard and you won't be able to see it and that is that but before we stick that down <coughs> We want to stick this piece of paper on. So that I'll glue out. And stick it on. If you know me, I like to hold up my card while I'm sticking down. And then we will stick this at our notches and you can just about see them. So we want to put some glue on there, hold it in and then line it up with the notches and rub it down and that is our box made and then we will stick our other bits of paper on Gluing that very well, am I? That one and Mm 
this one goes on here. Right, now these bits, this little bit, I'm going to put on the inside so you can't see the cardstock in there. So. Put it on the paper, on the card, it would help. Right. And then that way, you can't see where this piece is stuck down. Right then, <coughs> right, you need to stick this like this because we're going to stick this. Now on here, I didn't stick it all the way down. I was quite happy with it like that. But the design I want to do with this stamp calls for a piece of card this big. So I am sticking it right to the edge, like that. Not that one, that one. So when it sticks down, it'll be right on the edge like that. So to do that, you want to place this fold over the top so that it's flat and place it in the middle of the card where you want it to be. Make sure you've got even on the side. All right. Lift it up and then grab this bottom bit here. Turn that up and you're going to glue that bit. And you're going to glue that down. Like that. And get your piece of paper. Put it over the top. And you're not going to be able to tell. You don't have to do this. This is because I want to do it. Right, and now we're going to push it down so all the paper's showing, and we're going to glue this down. So, what we want to do is put your finger where this end of this paper is, and then you glue the bottom end. Hold the card flat down and press. And there you have a card. Let it stand like that. Right. 
and then we're going to stick this piece of paper on the top like that there I mean, covering the card in paper is optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to do it. I just think it looks nicer with paper on it. Right. And then once you've done your design on this piece, it will go on there. So, so I'll just put the lid on my glue because we're going to be stamping now. So, first of all, I have got the script and I have got no coloured ink. Oh yeah, I have. I didn't think I've got the ink out. Right, I've got crumb cake here. Now I'm finding this crumb cake, it's a brand new one, I'm finding it very dark. So what I'm going to do is ink off turn this scrap the other way around. Ink off. Yeah. Stamp off and then stamp down and I'm going to do that all the way down like that and then with this one I have put a Frankie mark and the round stamp mark or date mark the wrong way round right like that and I'm going to stamp that on yeah, and I'm going to stamp this full and I'm going to stamp it along the top Like that. Right. Get rid of that. Now I've got smoky slate here. Don't know what this will look like. We can only wait and see. Ink up the Eiffel Tower. really well I hope and turn it sideways because it's easier I am going to stamp that hopefully in the middle of the card hopefully it will work out Like that from Paris. Not very dark, is it? What I might do actually. I could stamp it in a darker basic grey or even granite grey and cut it out and stick it on top. I just might do that. Right, let me go and get some 
granite grey. Piece of card. That's just thinking on your feet. Let's see what colour this comes out. Can I go? Oh, no. Mini plate. Yeah, stick that on there. I think it should have been darker, but I'm quite happy with that. Stick that on with some dimensionals. That is off. Do you know what? I'll make these up as I go along. <coughs> That's the art of card making, isn't it? could I do on this? I've got happy birthday to put on here. So let's do that, except I never brought that either. God. Right, I've got happy birthday here from Clubhouse, and I'm going to do this in um, crumb cake, I think. And 
and I'm just going to stamp that down there. And cut that off. And just place that over there, like that. Hmm. So let's put a small dimensional on either end. Take them off. a bit of glue in the middle and we're going to stick that right across the Eiffel Tower and then we're going to stick this on the card Could have done is cut some flowers from the blossom, these flowers, and put some of them on in purple posy. I'll leave it like that for now and I might add some flowers afterwards I bet you I've got some in my maybe one day box I shall have a look and if I do put flowers on you will see the photo in the thumbnail and you'll see what I've done there hope you like this card and this one If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you want, if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.